friends and resellers, it's Trish with Well Sourced coming at you with a Goodwill Outlet Bins Haul video. When you're watching this, tomorrow will be St. Patrick's Day, so I'm sporting my Kiss Me I'm Irish shirt, uh, getting in the spirit of March. It definitely, I'm like sweating right now. It's 76 degrees here in Tennessee today. Um, a little bit warm, but kind of muggy because I think we're going to be having some storms. I'm just holding out on turning on our air conditioner because... I, I don't know. I feel like I have to hold out. We just had our fireplace on the other day. So I need a couple days before I have to turn the AC on. When I moved to the South, I did not understand the necessity for air conditioning. However, it's, it really is a necessity. Um, coming from North Idaho, where not everyone has AC, you just leave your windows open, but it does not get cool enough here to really do that. Um, like to cool your house off overnight. So I'm, I'm holding out now especially in my office which is in our bonus room above our garage and it I'm like really sweating um it does get a little bit warmer and has poor insulation so I've been busy working on our floors the last couple weeks ripping up flooring painting baseboards painting a hallway doing a lot of painting I have paint on me there's paint on my fingers so just bear with me um I am kind of a hot mess <laughs> so anyway um I went to the bins this is from several weeks ago because I picked my husband up at the airport or dropped him off I don't remember which um last week I accompanied my husband to Savannah Georgia where he was working for the week so I just went down the second half of the week kind of did my own thing um and we got to hang out in the evenings and then we came back that mixed with getting this flooring project done which will be so nice is one of the benefits of being my own boss so I have hardly worked at all the last couple weeks I did go sourcing so that I would have things to list as soon as I was ready to kind of get back to it but honestly I've mostly just been relisting my inventory over the last two weeks I don't think I've listed anything new still been making sales not as many as normal but um that is just one of the things that I really enjoy about being my own my own boss is I can take time off when I want to do what I want so Anyway, at my bins, I do pay $1.59 a pound. A couple videos ago, I did tell you that I picked up a couple project blankets for myself. Not, oh, oh Lord. Lord, Lord help us. Bad, <laughs> bad things are happening here, people. Mm -hmm. One of these days I will buy a new tripod, but until then, we're just gonna keep going with this one. Okay, total crisis averted. Anyway, um, this day that I went to the bins, I found two blankets that have a bunch of like it's not really it's cross stitch but it's like needlepoint I don't know what the difference is I'd say it's cross stitch or an embroidery of some sort I can't think of a legal term <laughs> but it's a bunch of they look like roses um in this diamond pattern the blankets had some yellowing around the edges I think they're old I don't think someone bought a new blanket and did this to it they feel sort of older they have older look. I soaked these with, there's a little bit of a yellowing there. I did soak these with like in our washing machine on a soak cycle um, with some like a Tide Pod and some OxyClean. I do want to just give them a good soak in our bathtub with maybe some like dish detergent or like Dawn and um, see if I can brighten them up trying to find something else because they're really pretty. The other one is very pretty. It's more of a, I'm just pulling it out of the bag. It's sort of a Scandinavian look. I can't remember what that print is called. Um, but a floral heart print. I don't know. They're just adorable. And I just can't imagine these going off to the landfill. So honestly, they came very clean just from washing them. They are not in perfect condition. This has a little hole on the inside. These are for me. Um, I like having fun, quirky, handmade blankets. So I am going to give them another soak. If you have a tip for whitening up or brightening up whites, let me know. Um, because I'm just going to go ahead and try soaking them for like overnight in some sort of tincture. Okay. Uh, I've already said it, but I paid $1.59 a pound at the bins. So let's just go ahead and talk about what I actually got this day since we're four minutes and plus into this video. So starting off with Old Navy, <laughs> you might be thinking, my gosh, that doesn't seem like the best place to start out. But this is an adorable striped romper. 
with a tank style button front, has a tie drawstring waist. It does have pockets. The um, short area is lined, which is nice because otherwise it would be super see-through. And honestly, it's just a cute piece. I sell Old Navy. Do I do better in the like bigger um, and extended sizes, like large and up? Yes. But was this too cute to pass up? Yes. So it's 100% cotton and it is from 2016. So, you know, but sometimes, as I say, you just got to buy stuff when you're there that you think will sell. And I think that will sell. Maybe not right away. Okay. This is a quirky piece. This says 100% cotton, hand wash, cold water, scarlet scales, one size, $59. It's like a boutique brand, I guess. Um, it is a V-neck, double V tank dress that is just real flowy, hippie. It's a bit of a layered bottom here with a darker blue and a lighter blue underneath. It's very pretty. Definitely something you'd pick up like in a shop while you're on vacation. Um, one size seems like a loose term, but uh, honestly, it could go maybe go up to an XL. So that's not too bad. I just grabbed it because it was new with tags. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you would know that I'm a sucker for new with tags items. All right, this is Talbot's size medium. I don't always pick up Talbot's in a size medium, but I really like this. It's like a shell or fan print, um, like split neck, uh, three quarter length sleeve, lightweight popover blouse. And I just really thought it was a good print and fabric for spring. So it is 100% cotton. Okay, here's my random pickup of the day. So this is just a plain tote bag, like a craft tote bag. Someone would iron on transfer or do some sort of bedazzling to. Um, but they were brand new in the bins. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of them. They weigh probably two pounds. So, you know, I paid. 350 or 320 something for these um but I just they're just a great tote bag so I felt like if somebody had a nice big sweater or a bundle I could use this as a wrapping instead of using um paper just make it even more reusable once they get it on their end I have a thousand tote bags do they ever are they ever not handy <laughs> like I love them um this is crown and ivy which is sold at belk a size small 100% do not recommend going out to purchase this <laughs> brand in any capacity and re think you're going to make a lot of money. However, this all over striped and orange elephant peasant top with this embroidery on the sleeves with, it's got like an, even an eyelet detail, was just too cute. Bell sleeve, bit of a peplum hem at the bottom, and it does have embroidery on the back, or I mean on the bottom. Um, definitely just a really cute top for the upcoming season and it is 55% cotton and rayon so it is a nice blend for spring this is a scarf which I do pick up scarves do I list them right away not always okay where are we this says collections made in Italy it's a 100% polyester um scarf so it's not made of like wool or silk but it's very pretty lightweight purple paisley scarf it's a square uh, made in italy polyester so not the best and that could just be a collections like a souvenir scarf from italy i was one of the souvenir people in shops getting something leather for all my friends um from italy when we were there in 2019 and i got myself a little keychain that just a memory I'm a magnet person so wherever I travel um, my husband knows I'm all out over the magnets I've done it for years and so a magnet is super easy we have them all on our refrigerator in our garage just taking up the side so wherever we go we are always picking up magnets I pick up ornaments and stuff for trees sometimes my, our Christmas tree sometimes a t-shirt but like a magnet takes up hardly any room you can throw it on anything magnetic and it's just a nice little memory to look at kind of all your travels in one 
one area. Okay, this is American Eagle. It's a size extra large, um, peasant top. It's black with this fun embroidery down the front and at the bottom. It has kind of a layered uh, sleeve with a crochet lace insert. And then it has an open back. So it's got a big keyhole back there. Very pretty. It does look like the newer American Eagle tag. It was an extra large. So I went for it. It is from 2020. So that's new enough for me. And I thought it was a cute top. Okay. Um, these are two vintage tablecloths that I grabbed. I think they're so adorable. I think one has a hole. A couple have stains. But they are oh, upside down but it's a teapot you can see the hole right there teapot flowers um just definitely has some wear to it but i think when i was in my last video i was talking about having these like when you're outside at a table or you are um you know setting up a card table or something to serve food on outside it's kind of nice just to have a fun pop of color in a vintage tablecloth i'll be using my I got a shamrock one a couple years ago at the bins, maybe last year, a green and white check shamrock print tablecloth that I will be using on Saturday, which is today when you're watching this, uh, when we have people over to have an early celebration of St. Patrick's Day. I have talked about it in the past. My husband and I have been to Ireland twice. I would go there forever. Um, and if you ever have a chance to go there, I highly recommend it. It might be because I'm dang near nearly 50% Irish and all my family on my mom's side is from Ireland. She's only the second generation um, who came out of on her side of the family. So I just have a big affinity for Ireland and I'm very excited to celebrate on Sunday and Saturday. A twofer. Okay, this is not from this that just I picked up. Okay, here's another one of the tablecloths I grabbed. And it is another square tablecloth. You can see it's got some staining on it. I have not soaked. I plan to soak this with the um, other blankets. And But I just thought this was another fun tablecloth. I'm a sucker for stuff like that. Can't help it. Okay, this is coming out of the wrong season. And it's a size small. But just go with me. It's cotton acrylic. It has 1% wool in it and other fibers, which we don't know what that means exactly, but it's pure Jill, size small. And it is a very cute, almost oversized, marled gray sweater with this fun accent on the front with the different threading going through and a teal gray and cream. Just a really cute sweater. So, you know, that is something that probably won't even sell till next fall, but that's okay. I have room to store it. This is soft surrounding size large. And it's a, almost like a Henley top is kind of what it looks like with these gold snap buttons on the front. It's also sort of a marled look to it. It has the buttons on the sleeves. Real textured top, longer length, rounded bottom hem in this green and cream color. And I thought that was a great size and um, maybe more of a fall piece, but I do like selling soft surroundings. Does it sell fast for me? Not necessarily. All right, this is Banana Republic, size extra large. It's Banana Republic Factory. It's a pull on pleated skirt midi length in this fun floral print. Um, it looks navy blue almost, I can't quite tell. But it is from spring of 2020. So that is a cute skirt. I like skirts, they just don't really do much for my body, I don't think sometimes. <clears throat> uh, I'm wearing shorts today, which the temperature says I should be wearing shorts, but the brightness for which if i'm surprised there's not a reflection under my chin right now to show you how bright and shiny white my legs are right now this is uh, melissa mccarthy for seven it's a size one x it is a poncho does need to have some linties removed but ponchos tend to do well 
and seven doesn't sell great for me, but the Melissa McCarthy line does tend to do pretty well. It, I was hesitant to bring it home because it had so many linties on it and it's black. Two things I hate photographing and dealing with, um, or white items. Black and white items are my nemesis. So let's see if this is made of anything exciting. Nope, cotton viscose poly. So definitely more of a fall item as well. This is the time of year, of course, where I will be finding the winter pieces that they're not selling at the bins, but it's all right because by the time I get around to listing them, I feel like it'll already be fall. All right, this is American Eagle, um, size medium. It feels kind of like a linen. Cotton viscose linen blend, size medium, made in 2019. But it's a super cute striped halter top with this smocked waist or under bust area. So it's more of a crop or short fit. And then this kind of flared peplum style sleeve or sleeve bottom. Super cute, adorable, perfect for summer. Oh, what are you? This is the brand Mono Reno. Mono Reno. M O N O R E N O. Mono Reno. If I say it 10 times, maybe it'll make sense. Um, so it's wrinkly, but it's kind of a boho peasanty kind of top. It has all this embroidery and stitching up here. Then it goes down. This could be Lord. I don't know. Maybe they're considering this a dress or a cover up, maybe a swim cover up. That might be how I list it. I don't know this brand. It's very cute. It might be a swim cover up. Or a really short dress. It's just rayon. Um, so, yeah. I grabbed it. I don't know anything about this brand. But I like, gray is my favorite color. So, kind of a sucker for that. This is Land's End, size 16. This is a retro kind of style, to me, looking bathing suit with the hot pink stripes. It does have lining um, and sort of so soft molded cups here. It crosses over in the back. The two things I really look at when I'm looking at a swimsuit are the crotch area, just because, and then the, the butt area. So people who sit on the side of pools or sit against the side of a pool tend to get that pilling on there. I like Land's End swimsuits. They tend to do pretty well for me and they're pretty high quality. This is the brand American Eagle Outfitters but it is a vintage American Eagle tag. I am sure of it. It's a size four, made in the Philippines, cotton spandex. This screams like, I don't know when American Eagle even came into existence, but screams 90s Y2K. It's a knee length or mini skirt, cotton spandex with this little petite kind of floral on it. It's a little bit of a stretch, side zip, button back pocket. And definitely a vintage tag for American Eagle Outfitters. Oh, my leg is totally falling asleep. Okay, what are you? This is Zara Woman, which I don't know if they make that line anymore. It's a U.S. size extra small. I don't... I like Zara. It doesn't sell great for me. This is a navy and white striped top. Kind of has this shark bite peplum hem to it. Very lightweight, sheer, almost top three-quarter length sleeve, but nice kind of spring top, we're calling it. This is Chico size zero, and I really liked this piece. Zero is a size small in Chico's, but the shell to this is a metallic neutral, natural kind of color. I'm trying to see if I can get the collar to do what it's supposed to do here. So it's just an open front jacket, like a longer length jacket, three quarter length sleeves, and it's 100% linen with this kind of metallic threading throughout. It's lined, so it's a nice piece. Um, does it look kind of like garbage right now because it's not steamed? Yes. <laughs> okay, here's a random accessory mixed in here. This is Banana Boat. Uh... 100% polyester, one size sun hat. 
it is not paper so that is kind of nice because then it will not if you get it wet it won't it's just a sun hat um oops it won't get ruined so anyway just banana boat the comps on that looked pretty good actually i wasn't sure where those were sold and as always i'll have been putting comps up along the screen this is just an old navy romper for me in a green color This is silver. I don't always pick up silver jeans. I don't find them a ton, but they're a 30, the Sam boyfriend jean, 32, 30, or 28. So they're like a shorter kind of length, but a lower, lower rise. So probably almost just at the ankle. Um, blingy pockets on the back. I like a boyfriend cut jean myself, so. The bottoms were in good shape. The crotch was in good shape. So I grabbed them. We'll see how they do. I do not source jeans at the regular thrift store because I hate that department. <laughs> I just hate going through all the jeans. This is just um, a Via from like probably Walmart. Just a kind of workout top for me. It's almost gardening season. Once we get done with all this flooring, it will be time for me to be out in my garden. So very excited about that. This is probably Land's End as well. If I could find the tag, I will tell you for sure. Okay, I need to take a deep breath here and figure this out. <laughs> okay, good Lord. All right, it is Land's End size 10 and it is a tankini top. It does have underwire. It has this crossover kind of front front detail and some ruching on the side. So I just don't mind picking that up. This is really cute. I don't know this brand at all, but I grabbed it. The brand is Cansey, K-A-N-C-E, Cole, K-O-L-E, size large. It is a very cute kind of Sherpa, not Sherpa, well, almost Sherpa, faux fur, I guess, shacket with this soft, flannel plaid um, and it has big tortoiseshell buttons so it's kind of a mixed media shacket I like it myself quite frankly I could not find very good comps on this I do think I can sell it though based on just being a shacket so we're gonna cross our fingers on that one This is solitaire size small. This day at the bin, bins, I was sort of hit or miss on things. So at some point you start grabbing things cause you know you can at least make a listing out of it. Um, and this doesn't weigh much. So solitaire, I think is a maybe Nordstrom Rack brand or department stores, but I often see it at TJ Maxx. This is just a crochet top. Um, very pretty, lightweight, racerback style. So it'll be easy to list and photograph oh these are just for me a pair of leggings <laughs> i've kind of moved away from wearing leggings i like them. oh shoot Ooh. all right my water bottle is sitting down here and i just knocked it over and hit our shih tzu in the head and he's extremely sensitive <laughs> emotionally but as I was saying, I've sort of like gotten into where you wearing joggers more often lately. Um, but these I thought would be great to put in our camper because they look super soft and cozy. Okay, this is the brand Glamorize. It's a size 48F, which is a double D. And this is not clipped up, but it's a front closure tan bra. And this brand seems to do pretty, pretty well. So I like picking up bras, super easy listings. This is Abercrombie and Fitch, size small. It's just a cropped Henley thermal in a great color. So I thought it would do well, um, regardless of, you know, kind of the brand on that. This is Loft Plus, so it's a size 20. I liked it because it was an animal print. It has this fun ruffle detail bit of a peplum hem, some nice flowy fabrics. So I grabbed that. 
This brand I grabbed because I simply liked the name of it. I felt like it probably was something that would resell. That's just how my world works in my head. I do get better cell phone service in the bins now, so I can look things up, but am I going to? Not always. The brand is Fish Hippie, one word, company, um, genuine water side originals, Fish Hippie. <laughs> I just thought that was a fun name. And then I touched it. It has a fun emblem on it. This thing feels amazing. I don't know what it's made out of, but it feels super good. 55%, um, oh, this explains it. 55% cotton, 40% modal and 5% polyester. I mean, it feels super nice. I think this is a men's crew neck sweatshirt in their brand. And so it had pretty decent comps on it. These I just grabbed. Um, they're a pair of kids rain pants by L.L. Bean that used to belong to a kiddo whose name is written in here. So I will take a Sharpie out from that. Um, they are a size eight and they're just a pair of rain pants. So fun if you live in a spot that gets a lot of rain. This is Wacol size 34 double D. And it's just a really pretty bra. Let's see if I can. I felt like this one had maybe a tiny bit more wear than I would want it to, but it's still in good condition. Um, but it's a pretty gray and purple, very romantic color. Some Swiss dots there, a lace bra, underwire. So anyway, I grabbed it. Okay, this is hilarious. This is the third time I have found this top. I don't think either of the other two have sold, but I'm a sucker. The brand is Rebellion. Um, this one was new with tags, size small, ivory. Sold at Marshalls for $16.99. It is just a kimono. And it has this heavy embroidery, kind of a floral mandala look to it. Funny thing is that when my husband and I were in the hotel room in Savannah last week, we were watching House Hunters for Millionaires. I won the lottery, lottery house. I don't know what it's called, but this guy takes people out who've won the lottery to buy like their lottery dream house, maybe their lottery dream home. We don't watch a lot of cable TV because we don't have it. We only stream. Anyway, the, one of the women on there was wearing this exact top too. So it just made me laugh because I um, have three of those now and I need to offload one of them at least. Okay, these are maybe, mm, I don't know. They're Birkenstocks. Birkenstock, but um, like a shearling lined suede shoe. They're a size 40, which is a nine to nine and a half. I could wear these with some cute wool socks in the winter and be totally happy. This person really had a aggressive big toe <laughs> because they wore that part out. The rest of it, is honestly in decent condition. The cork's in good shape. The shoe soles don't have that much wear on them. So I will try to brush up the suede or the shearling kind of lining. You're not going to see it when you're wearing it. So I think that's irrelevant really. The actual shoe itself is in good shape. I just sold a pair of Birkenstock. They were um, mm, like the Batula maybe. So it was like a sub brand of them. I thought they were in very excellent condition. There was one little nick out of the cork. I took pictures and they're, you know, they're Birkenstock. That's just what they were. They looked brand new though, except, except for that issue. And, um, so the woman on eBay was not super happy with them. Um, she gave me whatever the not positive review, not a negative one, but, um, on eBay, just saying that, the, you know, they weren't what she was expecting. Um, I wish people would reach out to me before they want to rate me because honestly, if they're not happy with it, I will offer either a discount on it. I might have, I gave her a good deal on the shoes to begin with, but I would maybe offered for her to, you know, be able to open them, uh, return them to me and I would pay the return shipping or give her an additional discount because I don't want people to be unhappy with the product that they're getting. Um, and another side, I've had my first one star review on Poshmark does not upset me in any way because 99% of the time I get five stars but I sent a pair of shoes to someone and they I shipped them off the next day 
Um, their review was that the shoes smelled so bad. They were pairs like Skechers or bear traps, like an outdoor sandal kind of thing. Um, they smelled so bad they had to throw them in the trash immediately. And I reached out and said, I'm not sure, this is on Poshmark, if you are aware that you can open up a return case on items, she'd already accepted it at this point, but um, a return case on items so that are not as described. Obviously, I had no intention of sending you smelly shoes. I'm not sure what happened. I mean, they have been stored in my inventory in the open air for a month before they sold. I packaged them um, I, and I'm pretty sensitive to smells. I did not smell anything. However, that... I don't care. I didn't want her to be upset with that. And so I apologized, said I'd be happy to give her a discount off of a future item, but did let her know in the future if she had got an item that she did, that was not what she thought she was ordering, that she should probably open a case. Had that case been opened on me on Poshmark, I would have gladly accepted the return um, and then, you know, thrown them out myself or something, but she wouldn't have been out the 17 or $18 that she spent on the shoes. So, you know, she did, um, say I had fast shipping and nice packaging though. So, um, but, and, and she did respond to my message and, you know, appreciated the apology, but I, I just really wanted her to know that she could open up a case. I am not, I don't mind if people want to return stuff. I honestly, it doesn't affect me in any way. Um, if it's like a, 200 or $400 item. I don't sell those. So a th some woman just bought a, a really pretty Bryn Walker top that I had sold. It was white linen, pretty ruffle um, kind of collar to it. Bought it full price on eBay. Uh, opened up a return just because it didn't fit her. She said it's beautiful, but it just was too tight across her chest. And um, what do I care? I want to be able to return things if they don't fit. I probably won't, but I want to be able to return things if they don't fit. And she's shipping it back to me for, you know, $4.99. Um, I don't mind having returns. That might not be, if you're an eBay seller, it might not be your policy. You might not accept returns or you might offer free returns. I don't do that um, because I'm not as big of a business where I can kind of eat that cost every time. But, oh, I'm a hot mess today. But honestly, if someone does return their item to me super quickly and is nice about it, I sometimes will refund that um, and the original shipping because they got it back to me so quickly. If someone waits like 30 days to <laughs> 29 days to open the return um, and doesn't ship it right away, then they can eat that cost. That's, that's on them. Okay. Phew. Do you just sometimes wonder why, why I won't stop talking? <laughs> um... My husband's not a huge talker. I probably say a thousand words to his 10, but that's what makes our marriage work. This is a pair of Can Cans, uh, size 11 slash 29. Can Can jeans are hit or miss. I can have some sell in like a week or some sit until the end of time. But these are a kind of fun waist, high waist, triple button. And then they have this distressed back to them. They have, it's like a straight leg. So I will look up the style number for these and see how they are doing. And I will see if they, what the comps are for those. But they're in a decent size and they were in really good condition. So I went ahead and did that. This is the brand Wonderly, which is sold at Belk for $46.50. It's a size extra large, just a really cute short sleeve peasant top. I was going to maybe take this with me to Savannah last week if I um, decided I needed it, but I didn't. I had enough stuff of other items I could take. And honestly, when I was there, I ended up wearing probably 99% thrifted items, which I just love. Um, and this new cardigan that I got is not in this haul because I forgot to bring it up here, but it's just a cute gap, like green, lighter green, but, like button cardigan, cotton button cardigan which was perfect. They wore it multiple days. And the only thing I had, I think that was new, I think my jeans were new that I wore a couple times. And I did buy myself a pair of blend stones. Um, I wanted a pair. So I bought some. And honestly, they were on sale for President's Day weekend. And the secondhand market, when the secondhand market is the same price as buying at retail, I will buy them new. <laughs> um, not because I don't want to support a uh, other resellers, but because then I can easily return things, especially on Poshmark, um, or I, I know that, you know, I'm actually it was cheaper. I think I bought them cheaper. They were 
$40, $50 off or something. So it was cheaper than some people were selling the exact same styles online. So I went ahead and bought them new from the website, which is not something I do very often. Okay, this is Chico's again, one size. It's just a polyester or acrylic, I mean, poncho. And it has this, oh, <clears throat> where are we here? Fun lace detail, a fringe trim, nice maroon kind of burgundy Merlot color. Not really Merlot, but um, so I will probably not sell that till next fall either. This is an REI jacket. It's REI size kids large size. That's a 14, 16. This is in super nice condition. This is a nice coat. Um, REI, of course, sells a bunch of brands. This is their house brand. It has a fuzzy here. But this has a really nice hood. And then it does have kind of an, uh, a neck gaiter in there. You can take off the hood. It has thumb holes and this kind of, you know, where you can put your thumb through there. But I like how this extends. Keeps your hands nice and warm. It is a nice very nice warm jacket um, that someone can get for a great price on the resale market. Okay, this is, so I washed a, a, a bunch of items and the Tide Pod, I, I switched away from using Tide Pods and then I switched back. They're probably gonna kill me someday, but I'm just gonna go with it for now. Anyway, the Tide Pod did not fully dissolve and I threw, I don't know how it happened, but I threw everything in the dryer. <laughs> I had to wash everything twice to get the marks out of whatever the residue was that was left on there, probably plastic. But I saw this in the bins. I thought this feels like a nice men's shirt and there's no brand, so I probably Lululemon, which it is. And it's called like the Gamer Shirt or something. Um, it's a men's. I bet this is a size large or medium. Um, I haven't measured it yet. If I thought it would fit my husband, I would let him have it. He's gotten into the Lulu Lemon Diori craze. So anyway, that was a fun find. Um, it did. I thought the buttons might say Lulu Lemon on them, but they did not. However, I did look that up, and other items that were selling um, were that were the exact same. Um, did not have, that had new with tags, did not, they weren't, and on the website, I looked too, on the Lulu Fanatics. All right, this is Nike Golf Dry Fit Shorts, size 16, nice pair of almost Bermuda length golf shorts for women, a size 16, nice, a little bit of stretch, so that's great. This is the brand Alex, A-L-Y-X. Don't know anything about it. It's a size 3X. I just really like the print on this. Thought it was a nice dressy up shirt that you could either wear out or you could wear to work. It does have this like ladder style sleeve. So, you know, going out, it would give you a little bit of a extra something something. Um, some people might not want to show that much arm at work, but it's heavily lined. I mean, this is a, it, it kind of gathers at the waist um, to pucker out and blouse out a little bit. So I grabbed it. This is a Victoria's Secret bra, no, Cacique bra, which is the um, Lane Bryant activewear line. It's a 40 double D, which is an E, and that's Cacique. There we go. This is a hot pink bra. And I'm not gonna clasp it right now because it might be the end of the world before I get it done. But I really liked it. it, had flower lace on the side and then the back had this fun kind of contrasting stripe. So like selling bras. <clears throat> this is Intimately Free People, no, Free People Movement. I think they're a size medium, honestly. I can't read it. I hate going blind all of a sudden. Uh, they had someone's name written in them. But I think they're a medium. Anyway, they're this fun pull-on short with this smocked kind of paper bag style waist in this. It's like a retro track suit short. <laughs> they do have the panty brief liner in them that was in good shape. 
So I will need to zoom in on that with my um, camera to see if I can't see what that says. It's kind of worn off, but it didn't seem like a medium. And then the logo on here was kind of coming off. I've sold things though with the logo coming off before. So that to me wasn't a deal breaker. Okay, this is Lily Pulitzer. This might be uh, an older piece, like a vintage tag. It's a size six to 12 month little top. Very cute, kind of a quilted style. Two little slip pockets with crochet lace on them, a little side tie. So super cute little top for kiddos. I grabbed this because I thought it was hilarious. I can to 100% pre-shrunk size, small, 100% cotton made in the USA. So I don't know if this is a vintage shirt or not, but it's got flip-flops and it says Bermuda on it. Um, and I thought somebody could like coastal grandma, <laughs> grandma core, but also they could crop it and wear it. I thought it was a fun piece. This is the brand. Um, Liberty overalls and they were in good shape. They are a size 4828 and in good shape. So definitely a shorter inseam and a bigger waist size. So anyway, I liked those. I thought they were fun. They'll sell. Um, I don't know how much for them. They're not a vintage pair. All right, I gotta start talking faster. Way faster here, people. Okay, I grabbed a pair of Hey Dudes. They're a kid size four or five youth. And talking faster, talking faster. This is White House Black Market, size four. Just a little black dress. Um, kind of has this drapey front in it. Nice stretch knit. Just a classic style you could wear to a wedding or to dinner or I don't care, to church. This is Woman Within, size 1X. Woman Within, I think, is maybe sold at, like, on Amazon. But it just says Endless Sundays. I just thought this was adorable. And if it doesn't sell, I will keep it myself. <clears throat> This is solitaire, size medium. This is a gray sheer top with these almost like Swiss dots, but kind of 3D puffs. <laughs> they have, this has a balloon sleeve or a real kind of puckered sleeve in a three quarter length. So I grabbed that. This brand I cannot find any information about. It's Fiona Walker size two it is a animal print with this teal and kind of bronze colored fit and flare side zip skirt it's lined it's 100 percent wool made of imported made in the usa of imported fabric can't find anything about this brand at all no rn number no nothing so i'll try google image maybe and see if that does anything this is just a hostess apron is what I call them. Um, a gingham check apron that just ties around your waist and it has these fun little pockets. I don't know if this is necessarily vintage or handmade. Oh, this says made especially for you by Annie DePaul. So handmade, cute little apron, fun little gift for someone or to wear. This is Chico size three. It's a nice lightweight sweater, kind of transitional. And it's got pink, gray, and navy. Um, I feel like this had a nice fabric content to it, but what do I know? Cotton, rayon, and silk. So it's definitely a nicer, lighter weight fabric. This is Vineyard Vines, the Slim Fit Murray shirt, size large in a men's. This is a really cute kind of micro daisy print <laughs> men's shirt. 
And it did not have the whale on it though that I could see. Oh, there he is, down at the bottom there. So that is something people like sometimes. This is Loom size medium. This is a men's shirt in this mustard yellow color. This looks like garbage right now, but <laughs> I'm sure it'll look better once I steam it up. It has these two cranes on it, embroidered cranes. Um, I only found like one or two comps for this on the internet, but I thought somebody would like it. So I grabbed it. This is the brand BB, maybe? Bobby, Bobby. But it's Evereve. So they do a lot of like collabs with different brands. So this is Bobby or Bobby for Evereve. It's the Java skirt size extra large. Oh no, Java's the color, extra large, the Ravi gauze short. This retail for $88. Real cute gauzy pair of pull on shorts, new with tags, went on sale for 66 bucks. I grabbed them because gauzy things sell well. It's new with tags. This is Eddie Bauer wool polyester silk skirt size four. I feel like this is a vintage Eddie Bauer skirt. It is a pencil skirt, just a classic wool skirt. I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is a skirt. Um, I Madeline or I Madeline size small. Very cute, kind of sheer skirt in this fun pattern. It's got polka dotty kind of look to it. It's like a window pane plaid. This is made out of polyester, but I don't know who this brand is. I grabbed it for looks. It is a maxi length dress. This is Eileen Fisher size small, little knit sweater in this white color. And it is, um, I think 100% linen. Nope, I lied. Linen, organic linen, organic cotton. So great keywords there. This is, I have no idea because I bought it because I thought it was cute. It's a Shopti Shop T. I've got no, no idea. Some of the letters are dark, some of them are not. Um, it's just a cute dress. And now that I'm looking at the quality of it, it's probably like a boutique style, but I liked it. It has these big flare sleeves, kind of a retro print, like 70s style, um, almost like, yeah, 70s kind of cut, but maybe more like a 60s short length. Um, made in the USA cotton poly blend, extra small. So I couldn't find anything about that brand. This is Orvis size large. This is, Orvis does all right. Orvis is an expensive catalog brand or online now, but a blue chenille sweater, super nice condition, feels really nice. These might've been my favorite pickup of the day. Ooh. So these, the brand is Happy Legs, size 11, machine wash, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't think they had a fabric care tag in them, but I don't know when these are from, I looked up this brand, but I can't remember much more about it. If I find any more information out about it, I think they were like the seventies or eighties. It's a wide leg red pant with these pleats, has pockets, but just has this fun flared leg and kind of a high waist mom, it has a mom butt to it. So I just thought it was a fun brand and that I wanted to Grab it. This is Elena <coughs> Gale and <coughs> Elena Gale Intimates size medium. This is wash and wool light, which led me to believe maybe it was a vintage piece. So I got it. Kind of looks like something that someone would give a bride for her wedding night. Just a pretty um, top for maybe a nighty set. I, I Obviously the bo bottoms weren't there. This is the brand Pole, P-O-L, which is a boutique brand. This is a size 2XL at retail for $44. So it's new with tags. It's a super soft, stretchy tie-dye top. Very boxy cut, double V-neck. And it's very a st soft, stretchy knit. Polyester spandex, so. That brand, it does okay for me. 
This is cloth and stone, size small. 100% Tencel Lyocell pants. They're like a jogger style cargo pant. And I thought these would do very well. I will probably find, that kind of looks like a stain right there. But once I steam stuff and get it up on the hanger, I, that's when I find those secret little stains. <laughs> Okay, this was a fun find too. They're Democracy, that size 16 with the ab solution or ab technology. Um, this is a booty lift jegging, size 16, new with tags. So I hear all these resellers talk about this ab technology or ab solution. Um, so I feel like these will do okay. Have a nice whiskering, so they're new with tags. They're kind of heavy, so they probably weigh a little over a pound. This is fun as well. <clears throat> this is Leslie Faye Dresses, size 16, vintage dress. Um, it's This This is an Easter dress. <laughs> 80s Easter dress. So it's got a fun kind of pastel colorway. I wish this was buttoned. I'm... These buttons are great because they're like a basket weave. So definitely has an Easter look to it. They have the matching belt to this dress. Um, so it's, you know, like a fit and flare dress with the pleating. I should get that listed right away. Those are just the ones that I'm a sucker for. I can't, can't not bring home. This is INC International Concepts, which is just a department store brand, size large, but I really liked it. It is a... Um, it's a sheath dress, has this heavy embroidery at the neckline, and then all down the front, and it's got some metallic accents, this bottom trim, and it has three-quarter length sleeves. It's a soft jersey, stretchy jersey knit dress with all this heavy embroidery, and it is lined, so it's a nice substantial piece. Okay, this is probably Hot Topic. Yep, Hot Topic, size small. Um, it is a little plaid skirt. So it's got kind of that schoolgirl academia, um, punk, goth, steampunk, edgy academia. Did I already say that look to it? But it is a mini skirt. So Hot Topic stuff does okay. It's not going to sell for a million dollars, but it does all right. Last item here. Phew. Um, this is, I got because I thought it was interesting. The brand is 1901. I don't know anything about it. I think I found out that it sold at like Dillard's, uh, in the men's department. It's a wool, 61% wool, 39% silk scarf in this pretty purple, um, with a blue, yeah, like a lighter blue or purple polka dot embroidered on there. I like getting quality ties because they're super easy to list. Oh, that is, I am still sweating. Uh, my hair's still wet because of all the humidity in here. Um, but that is it. That is my haul. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate it. Next week will be another haul that I have had stored up. I need to get all of this stuff listed and get back to it. So excited to get our flooring done. Hopefully in the next week and a half is our goal to work on it. Um, after we celebrate this weekend, having some potatoes and corned beef and all the fun stuff, some Guinness. But we will see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care.